Nothing. We got a missing car and a chopped up body. A body? Yeah. Someone chopped some, someone up and took away all the heads and fingertips. Looks like they really didn't want them identified. Sounds kind of like that 30 bits case, uh, 20 years ago? Yeah, Grand Affinity. Thought someone was um, skimming on his protection money, so he chopped him up and stuffed him in a mailbox. Ew, what a way to go. <laughs> You're telling me. Hey, this might work. A missing, a missing persons report. They haven't been missing long enough to warrant a police investigation, but we might be able to squeeze a little money out of the wife. You got an address? Yeah, I'll drive. Who are you with again? Like my partner said, we're from the BC Detective Agency, and we came to see if we could help with your missing husband. Why wait another two days for the police when we can help you now? Oh, thank goodness. My husband's a hauler on the deep space mission, and he was supposed to hypercom with me last night. He never misses a call. He left me a note. I looked at it a long time before I saw it. Please, you have to help find him. I'm sure everything is fine, ma'am. Probably a simple misunderstanding. Nothing to worry about. Find him, please. We will. Can you give us any more information? Like, how about the last time you saw Ted? We were at dinner at his stepdaddy's, and him and his stepdaddy were talking, and things got a bit heated. Over what? Um, his stepdaddy asked him for ha asked him to do something, but Teddy said no. His stepdaddy got upset, but he knew my Teddy wouldn't budge. That probably made him pretty angry, huh? Oh, you bet it did. Teddy never misses a call. Here you go, miss. Thank you, and it's Mrs. We only just got married. Um, we stayed at the Glide Inn for two days before the haul. Um, I had to leave work. I leave, had to leave to get to work early, um, so I didn't get to see him go. Oh my God, I'm going out of my mind. Calm down now, Miss. Um, we're gonna ask around, see what we can find out, and then we'll get back to you. All right? <sighs> Thank you. Good evening. I'm Bobby Lefoot, and this is my partner, Chris Stolpine. We're here on account of Miss Erie Affleck. How can I help? We want to talk to you about your employee, Mr. Ted Affleck. Oh, Ted, reliable kid, honest too. Head over heels in love with his wife. But that's just what made it so strange on the day of the launch. Something strange? The kid never showed up. I delayed the launch for like 30 minutes, but nothing. I just never thought Ted would do something like that. Why didn't you report him missing? You know the long haul types, always moving around. We had just assumed that he had moved on. Did you know him pretty well? He had worked with us for like four years. I did know that he was the adoptive son of Gino Fini. And I was just surprised that he did not go into the family business. But with how his dad died, I can't blame him. Well, thank you for your help. If you think of anything else, don't hesitate to call us. Have a good day, sir. I think we should go to the hotel next. Yeah, it is kind of weird she didn't call, though. Yeah, I agree. So you checked in Mr. and Mrs. Elflick for two nights. Did you see either of them during their stay? I saw the Mrs. when they were checking in. I assumed the Mrs. was just getting their luggage. Did anyone see them together during their time here? No, they were in the room the whole time, and then they left way too early. What do you need to know about Ted? I know his wife is very worried. Miss Rose Wasm, what can you tell me about Mrs. Elflick? Nice woman. She sure does get lonely with Ted on all those long haul trips. And she has recently struck up a friendship with the neighbor across the street, Trevor. He used to raise horses and owns a stable outside of town. They have been spending a lot of time together. Oh, does Ted know about this relationship? Ted and Trevor went to high school together. He introduced Trevor and Ari because they both loved horses. We were hoping to talk to Mr. Granafini. I'm sorry you can't. He's in the hospital and it isn't good. Poor Ted. He and his grandfather were really close. Is Ted his only relative? Ted's father died in a shootout a couple years back. He brings his wife, though, to dinner three times a week. She's a good girl. Always brings some sort of treat. Last week it was macaroni soup. Do you know of any disagreements during the meal? None that I can recall. Just what happened to the old man? Funny thing, after the boy and his wife left, he suddenly took ill. The doctors used to think it was a stroke, but now they think it's some kind of poison. He's unconscious in it and it doesn't look good. They don't think he'll wake up. Well, thank you for your help. If you can think of anything else you want to tell us, please call us. Sure thing. Good luck finding Ted. We're going to need his help with the inheritance. A large inheritance is a motive for murder. You think the wife did it? Maybe, but I want to check out the stable first. I'm getting a bad feeling about it. Why, Mr. Dumond, and here's Miss Elflick visiting you. Nice to see you two all close together like this. 
She's your lover, isn't she? No, she's just my good neighbor, and we hope her husband is found soon. How dare you say such a thing? I loved my husband, and I miss him very much. You said loved. It's like you know he's not even alive anymore. It was an accident. Aerie, don't say anything. What does it matter? He was always gone all the time. How could he support a family or even be there for us with all those long hauls? It was for the inheritance, wasn't it? You poisoned the grandfather so Ted could come home to you. We just went for a walk and we were on our way back so I could say goodbye to Ted. And he'd eaten the leftover soup. I told him it was bad and he shouldn't have eaten it. His granddaddy should have just given us the money like I asked. The body that they found out chopped to pieces. That was Ted, wasn't it? We just wanted to dispose of him. We didn't know it would link it to us. It looks like we'll have to find two more bags. 